Welcome back to the channel guys. If you are thinking of doing Big Baldy Trail or you're gonna go do it and you clicked on this video first, congratulations. Let me be the first to congratulate you. Now you'll probably still get lost given the conditions of this trail, but I'm gonna give you a huge tip that's gonna save you time and you're gonna be just very thankful that you clicked on this video before you go hike this trail. So off the bat, Big Baldy. All trails has Big Baldy Rich Trail. It's a little bit longer, closer to six miles. When you get there, the Big Baldy sign says that the one way is 2.2 miles. So the full Big Baldy Trail is 4.4. There is a difference. You don't want to end up in the wrong spot. As I've done before, we're going to jump into the trail video, show you guys what the trail is like, what to expect as you're hiking it. And then when we come back, I'm going to give you some huge tips on this trail. Uh, we're going to cover what's a little bit off on all trails and then the usual, right? Trail details, how to get there, make sure you have a good time. If you haven't already seen, make sure you check out the full vlog of our Sequoia trip. And I've also done Little Baldy, which was also amazing, uh, last year. So make sure you check out the Sequoia National Playlist if you haven't already. My dog just hit my tripod. Lucy, come here, come here. Let's jump into those trail details. Biggest, biggest tip if you guys have not seen the full vlog. There's a lot of trees that have fallen over. There's just a lot going on in the beginning of this trail. And if you look at the map, there's like three different ways you can start. One goes down the middle, one starts left, crosses over to the right. The first part of this is extremely, extremely confusing. And the biggest tip I can give you when you go do this is if you ever find yourself even slightly lost, look up and look around at the trees. The trees have red or blue markers. That is where the trail actually is. So we got lost right off the bat. If you saw the full vlog that I posted or just part one, you'll see that we're going off this sketchy side of like, if you fall, you're gonna fall down a, a good amount. Only to realize like we, we somehow, somehow, it looks like a trail, was not a trail. 
Look for those trees, look for those red or blue circles. That will tell you the direction that you're supposed to be going in. Again, there's a lot of fallen trees, just a lot going on this early part of this hike. It's very, very easy to get lost. Later on, it's super easy to find the trail. Look for those trees. That's your biggest tip. Your second biggest tip here is, All Trails has Big Baldy Ridge Trail, which I mentioned earlier, six miles, the sign there says four. You know, you can see here, there's a Big Baldy sign. It goes up to here. I don't know why you would cut back in. Once you do this hike, and you'll notice in the video, you'll wanna follow what you see here. Because if you follow the Big Baldy sign here, and you end up where this red dot is, you're behind the mountain. There, there's really not much of a great view this way. So you'll follow the red trail here and you'll notice just the, the way the map is set up here. You'll wanna be on the left-hand side of this big baldy sign. And then this is where we took the photos. This is where you stop and you can look towards the west and just see the valley and the trees and the forest. It's amazing. So if you are using a map, you're using Google Maps, whatever it is, don't keep going. Don't go to this red dot or you're not gonna be very happy on where you're at. Make sure you come up here. All right, let's talk about trail details. The one we did is 4.4 miles. In this case, Big Baldy Ridge Trail, which does go a little bit longer. Again, where we did it, it stopped right in the middle here. So this one takes you a bit further down. This one says six miles. Again, we did 4.4, about 1,500 feet elevation. It is a loop, really more of an out and back, but technically because there's a lot of different trails here, you can loop it around. I wouldn't call this a loop. Overall, I found this a very relaxing hike. Uh, people say it's not that challenging, but again, at 8,000 feet, it's just harder to breathe. So take that into consideration when you're thinking this might be an easy trail. Nothing much else to say about the trail. I think the trail video did a great job. Thank you, me. Uh, it's showing you what this trail is like and the views that you'll find on this. And if you wanna see more, make sure you check out that full vlog that I did. Uh, one of my favorites to date. Let's quickly talk about how to get here. Remember that in Sequoia and Kings Canyon, you know, the service is not great. It's super, super spotty. So you wanna make sure you bring a map. If you're on All Trails Pro, download the map. That's always my biggest recommendation. As much as people hate on All Trails, the fact that you can download those maps offline is, is amazing. This hike, Big Baldy, is located on the Kings Canyon side of the park, which means if you're driving from north or south, you may go through the Kings Canyon entrance as opposed to the Sequoia entrance. What does that mean? Well, it normally means that you'd come up the top instead of coming up from the bottom. A ton of what you see from Sequoia, it's all down here, Morro Rock, uh, the Tunnel Log, Journal, Sherman, like you all start from Three Rivers and you come up here. For us, this was our first hike of the day, so the map actually took us through Kings Canyon, so the very north part of this, come through, and then Big Baldy was, was right there. I don't wanna make this video too long, so there's not much else I can add to it, except if you are spending a considerable amount of time here at Kings Canyon or Sequoia, and you wanna look at hikes around this area, the Montecito Sequoia Lodge is there. Uh, I was gonna book that originally, but ended up staying in Three Rivers instead. And then the Wooksaki Lodge is close by here, along with Little Baldy Trail if you wanna hike a different hike that's close to this, also very similar views. Little Baldy is amazing for that. Wooksaki Lodge is, is I think it's the only place right now on the mountain you can actually get food. I'll leave it there. Thanks so much for checking this out. Make sure you stay tuned for next week when we talk about Marvel Falls, a magnificent hike at the very, very entrance, almost, of Sequoia National Park. Stay tuned and I'll see you guys soon.